Now we will introduce what we call the average velocity. I put a bar over it, that stands for average, between time t1 and time t2. That we define in physics at x as time t2 minus x at time t1 divided by t2 minus t1. That is our definition. In our case, because of the way that I defined the increasing value of x, this is larger than zero. However, if I take the average velocity between t1 and t5, that would be zero because they are at the same position, so the upstairs is zero. If I had chosen t4 and t2, average velocity between time t2 and t4, you would have seen that that is negative because the upstairs is negative. 